Hello and welcome. In our previous video, we had an introduction to chlorine and today we want to see how we can actually prepare chlorine in the lab or in the laboratory. So we had seen that chlorine belongs to group 7 of the periodic table under the halogens and we notice that chlorine is highly reactive and as such it cannot occur in free form as chlorine gas usually it's in combined form in compounds like rock salt however how is it prepared today we are going to use one common method that is normally used in the lab and that is the use of the black manganese 4 oxide a well-known catalyst in the lab preparation of oxygen using hydrogen peroxide so how do we use this manganese 4 oxide so we have manganese for oxide this is a black solid and it normally works in such a way that this manganese for oxide oxidizes the acid that is going to be used and in this case we are going to use concentrated hydrochloric acid this is the setup that is normally used in the lab setting for us to prepare chlorine so let us try and digest it so that we can somehow assimilate it very well so as you can see we have a round bottom flask so we are using a round bottom flask because we are expecting to do some heating this round bottom flask helps us to ensure that we have some uniform heating so because of the heating that we are going to use we shall prefer to use a round bottomed flask we now have a thistophanol a funnel basically is used to somehow direct liquids so because our Concentrated hydrochloric acid is a liquid. We could use a funnel and for this funnel shall ensure that the, the last portion of the this funnel is dipped into our Solution or mixture in the round bottom flask. If at all we were to use Say a dropping funnel which has a tap in this case Even if we, we ensure that it stops somewhere here. It could have no problem. So we are using a thistophanol to direct our concentrated hyd hydrochloric acid. It is this chlorine in the hydrochloric acid that will help us to produce our chlorine gas. So our magnesium for oxide will oxidize by removing away this hydrogen so that we remain with chlorine. So we have magnesium for oxide in our round bottom flask so we shall drop our shall drop our concentrated hydrochloric acid onto it with a little warming so what happens is that we drop our hydrochloric acid onto the manganese for oxide and the reaction starts so we basically have our manganese for oxide which is a solid and then we shall drop our hydrochloric acid concentrated hydrochloric acid allow me put the aqueous so what happens we shall see effervescence and then when magnesium oxide reacts with our acid we shall form the salt of our manganese so we shall form manganese chloride which is also soluble in the water already present so we shall have aqueous we shall also form some water in this round bottom flask we shall form some water the round bottom flask and lastly we shall form the chlorine because the hydrogen will be removed from the hydrogen chloride or hydrochloric acid so we shall form these three products so let us try and balance it so manganese we have one manganese we have one oxygen we have two oxygen we have one so i can put here a two Hydrogen will become 4, so I can come and put here a 4. So chlorine is 4, chlorine is 4, so our equation is balanced. So let's go back to our setup, lab setting. So what happens, we shall start seeing effervescence. Effervescence basically means bubbles, rapid bubbling. Bubbles of a colorless gas. In this case, it will not be colorless. Bubbles of a green yellow gas. Remember, we said chlorine is greenish yellow in our previous video so we shall see bubbles of a greenish yellow gas 
which will continue to our delivery tube. So the delivery tube, because we want to prepare dry chlorine, we shall ensure that at least we remove all the impurities and the water present. So when drying chlorine, at least we can first remove the hydrogen chloride fumes. So how do we remove hydrogen chloride fumes? In our first wash bottle, this one here is called a wash bottle as well. A wash bottle, okay, we have it here. So in our first wash bottle, we shall place in water because we want to remove hydrogen chloride fumes. Hydrogen chloride is highly soluble in water. And as such, if we bubble it through water, it will dissolve and form our hydrochloric acid. So any hydrogen chloride fumes from the concentrated hydrochloric acid will be absorbed or removed by this first water in our wash bottle. So the chlorine will continue because it's less dense, it will just pass through as bubbles and then continue in our delivery tube to the second wash bottle containing concentrated sulfuric acid. Now concentrated sulfuric acid has a high affinity for water and as such we shall see it drying high affinity for water. We shall see it drying our chlorine gas. So this sulfuric acid removes any water content present in the chlorine gas that has proceeded to this wash bottle. So still our chlorine will continue and then it will be collected by downward delivery. This is downward delivery meaning that the gas is being collected in the downward direction. Because chlorine is denser than air, we shall collect it downwards. This is also known as upward displacement of air. So downward deliver because chlorine is denser than air. Denser than our air. So if at all you are not using concentrated sulfuric acid, you can use anhydrous calcium chloride. You can also use anhydrous calcium chloride in a YouTube. It should be anhydrous, meaning it should not be hydrated. So basically this is the setup in the lab. You will need these equipments. You will need some slight warming because our manganese for oxide is not as oxidizing as the second counterpart we shall see. There are many ways of pre preparing chlorine but we shall mainly look at two, manganese for oxide and potassium permanganate. So this is a brief introduction to how we can prepare chlorine in the lab, specifically dry chlorine. If at all you don't want to prepare dry chlorine, the only setup you need to remove are these wash bottles. If you have to remove the water and the concentrated sulfuric acid, that means you will directly transfer your products from this round bottom flask directly to our gas jar. So if at all you don't want to dry it or you don't have the necessary equipment, you can directly collect our green shallow gas in this gas jar and it will be seen at the bottom here. That's all I had about the lab preparation of chlorine using manganese for oxide and concentrated hydrochloric acid. This is the equation for the reaction. Thanks for watching.